All right, thanks for staying with us. Now, when you're speaking in public, you may be representing your organization or just yourself. It is still you at the front. It is you that the other person, group or audience sees. And before you have time to open your mouth and say anything, certain assumptions, both consciously and subconsciously have been made about you. So in interpersonal communication, the appearance of the participants establishes their social identity. By, appearances, um, our, by our appearance cues, we often send messages designed to construct a social reality or social identity for ourselves that we could not and would not want to construct by verbal means. This is from KZI 1990. First, the ju judicious person will not say to another person, I am trying to impress you or I am trying to dominate you. But the same person will routinely and repeatedly communicate such messages visually by the kinds of clothing he or she chooses to wear. How relevant now do you think that this appearance, your behavior, your communication is in today's world? And um, let's see how well you are doing in that area. <laughs> Please, let's hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join the conversation. Send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 81 So it's very important that once in a while we try to throw in things that has to do with personal development because whether you like it or not, whether you are in front of the camera or behind the camera or anywhere in the world, people are watching. And, you know, silently, a lot of people have lost job opportunities. They've lost contracts. They've lost big transactions just by the way they presented themselves no Absolutely. intentions mm -hmm. you know to actually go there and fail but mm. it just happens right people do not pay attention to these things i remember when mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> once upon a time once no, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god so i i am one person that if you leave me i will wear my bathroom slippers i will wear my hair net and go anywhere i do I'm not cringing uh, mm. we're cringing you'll be all right <laughs> <laughs> you know, I go everywhere. But I'm wearing sandals today because you know people know I have injury in my leg. But I know they think, say, oh, you didn't complete the look. But you know, um, but I realized that sadly, 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 we're a superficial world right now. Absolutely. And a lot of people will not even want to hear what you have to say until you look like the person that they want to relate with. So Absolutely. I've seen that, you know, just by taking myself out of that um, place where... You know, people don't just see me and judge me from the first instance. You know, as simple as driving a clean car, making mm -hmm. sure that your car is properly washed, the inside is clean, yeah. it says a lot about you. Absolutely. So that untidiness, that, you know, um, that uh, sc scattered anyhowness, mm. scatteredness and all of that, you know, just, just being very deliberate about the impression you want to leave with Create. people has actually created tremendous you know, changes in the way people relate with me. I don't know about you, yeah. Oh, well, <laughs> I would say that I, I totally agree with all you've said so far. I, I can recall when I was in the banking sector, what we did back then was that it is all about the way you present yourself. As a, as a marketer, you are in front of an individual, you're trying to get the person to buy into your product. What do you do? You have to, you know, look the part, dress the part, and act the part that it just like Noma says you know appear and uh, communicate and the key thing is you are you just have to do what you have to do to get that client to buy into your ideas mm. you have to communicate right so yes I do totally agree with you that yeah you know in the cause of you interacting with someone how you, the person perceives you and like that quote said said earlier it says that you know you can have a second chance to make a first impression mm -hmm. so the key thing is when you're interacting with someone you are you are actually the person's actually perceiving you in a you know somebody light, can actually just look at you and and you know that and straight on, on they know but whether however, i'm going to do business with you however, or not however some people have to be trained mm. they just have to have that instinct some also, people don't why know here, it bro. some people don't even know it that's why we're so, here so yes I somebody was on my case for a very long time <laughs> 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 but don't mind me i will still yes. pack and buy my body <laughs> and my roasted corn but the thing is i just realized yeah. that you know it it pays to be very deliberate about 
you know your perception and how you want Absolutely. to be perceived and all of that. I totally Simple as your nails, you. your mm. skin, everything. Yes. So and you're not spending too much, right? But everything. We're going has to talk to about that as well. Breath, <laughs> your your smell, your scent. Ah, Auntie, and how, let us give the floor. How you carry yourself. Let's as a give person. the floor to the uh, madam. Be the man see, or people woman. Those, okay, for people that do not know, not my fan. <laughs> Is a lady of soul, <laughs> heart, style, and class whose exposure to makeup artistry exceeds mm. just the paint and brush yeah. to external beauty to proper rearrangement of the internal mental shelves of confidence mm. and poise. A passionate lady who believes that anything is possible if you only give yourself the permission. Nama is a master educator in behavioral change and mm. refinement who uses her inside-out transformational experience and expertise in the area of appearance, behavior, and communication yeah. to help individuals and corporate organizations discover their unique identity that makes them distinct globally. So Nomai Efanga is that person you need in your personal life and your organizational structure to be able to paint the image, the brand image of what you want your client or the person at the other end to see you and believe that you are so she helps you to take you from that point of scruffiness <laughs> like where i was <laughs> to the point of poise and you know print class and papa and those things <laughs> that i do not really like but i have to do it <laughs> well, thank you so much so in case people are wondering who Nama Ivanga is today you know her now <laughs> and why she's always on point always she can't like, be caught off guard always can I give you one, one story oh my god okay, I, I can expose you to you hear the last of that story <laughs> hmm. tell me about that's it that's I went for all night my first experience with Nama hey, Jesus. all dressed up <laughs> See, you know how somebody is going you know, I stopped going to one particular church you know why I stopped going to one particular church because they started this very early morning prayer this was not this was not when early morning prayer used to rain on. this was they just started when my son was like a toddler my son is 16 this year so he they just started the prayer so me I would just go drop off my son at the crutch and wear my nightgown they wear they hear oh, see, I wear my night down to the church. Just to go and pray. So I go back home, shower, then go go and about my business. Oh more. That's how I just woke up one morning. I got to church. I saw eyelash, nails. I saw ah, are we coming to pray or we are coming to do fashion parade? That was how I stopped. Oh my god. Only for me to meet normal years later. Lagos. I was inside the ah, today is a good day. I was inside all night. And she was all dressed up. It's again. not even only dressed. If you see the smoky eyeshadow <laughs> and the eyelash, I said, wait, wait, wait. Who comes to an honor? <laughs> but thank you. I so can no. totally relate with you. Oh my goodness. Oh my She's gosh. got to put a part in that story. I was coming straight from my days every day. So can I even shock you? Oh, she was still a breastfeeding mother. <laughs> oh god. And then the next thing she says. Who comes to an, an all night service all with a <laughs> Well, no, it's, it's, it's actually oh interesting, and I, I, I love having this conversation with you because uh, for me, uh, I've seen a lot of changes, transformation, and uh, transitioning, you know, and, yeah. and I've seen how, you know, just being deliberate about about things made. like that yeah. has made life a lot different, you know, and a lot uh, so. You know, thank you so much again for joining us. You're welcome. <laughs> so, You're welcome. Let's so tell us, you know, we're discussing the relevance of appearance, behavior, and communication. Yeah. We know right now we're in a world where everything matters. Absolutely. I mean, every single detail matters. Mm -hmm. And because we are in that world where it's in your face, you just say, hi, my name is Isio Fodle. Somebody's already on Google checking who Isio is. So the image and appearance and everything is even beyond just physical. Totally. Even your online presence, every single it thing matters. Every aspect. You know, so tell us, you know, you know, how relevant is this, you know, for today's world, and are we truly paying attention as a people? I'm excited <laughs> that we're talking about this, even though it is something that I'm very passionate about. But I would like to start from the place of, that I always use to make it easy for people to understand why it is important for them to pay attention in the area of appearance behavior and communication and um it comes from this i mean in the bible where it says the golden rule where it says do unto others the way you would have them do to you 
A lot of people look out for what others are doing wrong and they forget that they have several fingers pointing to them and it should be a prompter to tell them that you need to pay attention, that so things that you need to. Every time you look out for the wrong in somebody else, there's four times over a reminder for you to look inwards. Mm. So it's not just about looking good. That's another mis So let me demystify it. Being polished is not being a snob looking at people and wondering who is on my level or not, who measures up or not. That is not what it is. In fact, anyone who looks at people with snobbery is very shallow in thinking. Being um, mannered or polished is not about a rule, boring set of rules and regulations about eating fox and bowls and all of those things. It has absolutely nothing to do with that. It has everything to do with consideration. And number three, it's not old fashioned. The same way being polished, being well mannered, being groomed in the 18th or 17th or 16th century is how relevant it is in the 21st century. Now to put, bring that as a background, when we're talking about why is it relevant for us to pay attention to our parents, to behavior, to communication, these are three aspects of our life that whether we like it or not, like you rightly said, in today's world, even, in, <laughs> even before now, People pay attention to what you represent, not just physically. Now, it's gone beyond that. It goes online. It goes to your social media presence. It goes to what YouTube or Google has to say about you, right? So people look beyond or first look at the image that you have created about yourself. And every single person has the ability to create an image for who they are. Mm -hmm. That is why I am Nome Fanga, and no one can be the Polish coach like I would be. Mm -hmm. That's why Isi is Isi Ofodile, and no one can be the elo elocutionist yeah. like she is, because that is her image. No one can be like Uwasale because there's a way your makeup and everything, who you are put together, represents you as an individual. Now, are people paying attention to that? No, because most of the time, people that you see in today's world, everybody is, is busy trying to look for, trying to survive. Let me put it that way. So first and foremost, a lot of people put survival first. So, I mean, master's um, law, uh, hierarchy, uh, you know, people are looking for what to put in their bellies. Put, so, yes, assuming that that is the base, that's where we start. Okay, but there comes a time where you will know that except if you have not grown in your thinking and in your, as a person, yeah. then you may not pay attention. But if you are one who is open to learning, at some point, you will realize that, oh, Something for where wrong. I'm going, yes. this no longer represents, if I was living on survival mode before, now I have suddenly grown beyond that point mm -hmm. to a point where, oh, it's no longer about, you know, the next meal. Mm -hmm. It's about how do I even plan myself? How do I arrange myself? What kind of so impact? What, kind of impact? What, what space do I want to occupy? Mm -hmm. What impact do I want to make? And how do I get there? So that's how you begin to transition. Some Who you were yesterday shouldn't be who you are today. Totally. Something has changed. Yeah. You have opened yourself to some learning that you say, hmm, maybe I should add this on. Mm -hmm. So it's for somebody who continuously looks for opportunities to grow, then you will always be dissatisfied about where you are part time and you will always open yourself to those opportunities that continue to help you to do that. Mm -hmm. But until people come to that point where they are students of life, mm -hmm. they cannot grow beyond the survival mentality mm -hmm. that has completely eroded a majority of the citizens that you mm -hmm. see around. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's the beginning part. And it is important that all of us 
um, pay attention to how we appear, behavior, and communication. Because like I said, it's not about snobbery. It's, it's, not, a, for so, it's not something that is for a, a particular group of people to enjoy. Everybody is deserving of respect, of honor, of dignity, whether they are aware of it or not. And if somebody is polished, then you will know that people are deserving, even if they're poor. Back in the days in the 16th century, you see somebody who is looking all shriveled, but he's still wearing a coat. <laughs> he will still wear a jacket. He will still wear a hat. And then when they pass somebody, he's looking filthy, but he's still presented in a certain way. He would tip his hat. Totally. Do you understand? Not so <laughs> all of those things. So when you see it is so it's not about poverty. It's yeah. not about oh class or status or, 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 or mm -hmm. gender and all of that. Mm. Everybody deserves yeah. respect. Absolutely. If I see a poor person, even if I can't help you, I can sometimes on the road when you're driving, you see some of those young boys begging. Yeah. Sometimes just they wave. Wave, yeah. To even come, I do not have when we are gradually becoming a cashless society. Mm. So I may not have the means to help you totally. now. But at least, do I have so a drink? Know. Do I have a bottle of water? I've given somebody, but at least drink mm -hmm. water and I calm down. Have nerves. Something. I have accorded respect to that person and honor. Totally. Who says that in the recesses of mm. their minds that they would that that singular act of respect and honor will not register in such a way that it will be paid for. Mm. Okay, on that note, we are coming back to you. Let's no go problem. on a quick break. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back. Thanks for staying with us now. If you just tuned in, we are having an amazing chat with Nomai Fanga on how relevant is appearance, behavior, and communication in today's world. Now, please, let's hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join the conversation. Send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 81 803 You can also tweet at us at WayShowAfrica1 or the hashtag WayShow. All right, EC, you wanted to ask a question? Yes. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no. I'm speaking your language. I'm speaking my language. You know, <laughs> respect is crucial. Absolutely. It's so important. Absolutely. And that's why in today's society, when somebody doesn't accord you a certain level of respect, you tend to, you know, walk away from that person because probably, like you stated, snobbery is being shallow, mm. totally shallow. Now, you said something else about um, being an old school. You know, I, I'm an old soul, basically. Mm. I believe in the 18th century stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I believe that you should court a woman. I believe you should behave in a particular way. I believe you should dress in a particular way. But we have something that we have today, which is between trendy and classy mm. and trashy as mm. well. So can you throw more light into it in, in terms of appearance, behaving, appearance, and communication? All right. You see, thanks for that question. Because... Um, I'm all clad, probably all the way to my neck. But I want to believe that I look presentable. Totally. I want to believe that I look extraordinary. And I want to believe that somebody will be attracted to me. Totally. Whether or not um, that can work. <laughs> somebody is eyeing me. You're attracting the, the point, right clout to you people, with right. what you're wearing. So who you are mm -hmm. should be represented in what you choose to wear. A lot of people do not know that sometimes you attract the wrong kind of people just because of what you're wearing. Totally. And I do not have anything against people who feel so comfortable with themselves, exposing themselves, because there are certain personalities, of course, t time will not allow us to go into that. There are certain totally. personalities that are confident enough to be able to you know, expose themselves in that all direction. But the point is, in dressing, there are just some key things. Dress for comfort. That is very key. I see a lot of people struggle, and I'm wondering, why did you put yourself into this situation <laughs> when you could have just been comfortable? You can be comfortable, but not tacky. Because some people think that when you're comfortable, it's to wear joggers and slippers. Yeah. Mm. And that is for your bedroom. Yeah. Mm. That is for so, your bedroom. You just thought so, the very <laughs> I'm looking so, at you. 
So comfort, yes, just for comfort, just to be addressed. Bingo. There's a way you will come out and somebody will see you and instead of telling you, hey baby, they will tell you, hello, even if they don't know your name, hello ma'am or madam or something. Totally. So wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Some of us like our shots. Right. Mm. And we don't, so I think, right, this subject of dressing should mm. be based on what you do, your job, right? Mm. Some people, like me, if you leave me, I'm a sneaker girl any day, any time. I hate to wear shoes. I hate to wear dress up. I, yeah, I like my, my joggers. I like my t-shirts. I like all of those things, right? Totally. That's what I love to wear. But I just realized that, okay, there are some places that I'm going to be going to that certain things do not apply. Totally. But so that it doesn't look like, oh, at all point, because it is also tiring. Mm. I cannot mm. be ill. I cannot be like this at all. Uh, uh. <laughs> uh, no, but I can do that. that. That's but the interesting thing. Mm. Can I just respond very quickly to it? That's mm. the interesting thing. With whatever personality you are, there is style that you can add to it mm. to still make you look presentable. Mm. Even if you're someone who wears shorts, for example, imagine that, okay, you had some formal and you decided, oh, I really want to wear a pair of shorts. What of putting on a cape a on it or mm. something? Mm. There's a way you can dress it up. There's mm -hmm. a way you can dress it down, mm. depending on where you are going. But I want to ask the question, it. though, yes. because, again, you see, we are so focused. Like I said, we're in a superficial world mm -hmm. where it seems like everything is about what you look like. Then I, mm -hmm. I size you up from mm -hmm. head to toe, Gucci shoe, mm -hmm. okay. Balenciaga bag, uh -huh. <laughs> I see a diamond necklace, and I see a <laughs> lipstick. Bar. Yeah, I want to go and hear, I want, <laughs> to, I want to speak with her. But uh, people begin to, to forget that there is content and there's a container. Mm -hmm. oh, yes. So we are so focused on the container, mm -hmm. then the content within. So if, cause if we're talking appearance, behavior, and communication, yeah. mm -hmm. I believe that in that, right, everything also, there's a container part mm -hmm. of it mm -hmm. and there's a content part of it. Yeah. So how do we translate that into what we bring out, you know, from our mouth because again out of the abundance of the heart the mouth the, the mouth speaks, speaks. Yeah. so some people they look all put together everything just on point. a lot of people totally. but you start a conversation and, and the person is empty right so mm. you still would not land the big jobs you won't you won't get those um deals because you have signed no content. because you don't have any content inside so totally. how do we marry it because what i see now is a lot of packaging a lot of people just want to look a certain part mm. but inside they are really empty so you still get to that point where you're struggling totally to get the content the bag right yeah. to, to to get the money so how do we marry that where um this abc applies within and without without like outside and inside that's very important um Ua, because it's not just about appearance that's what a lot of people need to understand polished behavior cuts across every aspect of your life it cuts across your attitude it cuts across your um the 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 value that you can bring to the table so it's a lot of you, what you have in today's world is that a lot of people pay more attention mm -hmm. to the container Physical. than the content the container is important but the con the content is even more important Imagine when people go out and then, oh, they see, hmm, very pretty lady. And because a lot of people think women are dumb blondes, right? Yeah. So, oh, just pretty on the outside, pretty nothing face, inside. Yeah. Totally. And then they engage in a conversation and then you take it right up. It's like Where did the you impression come from? usually <laughs> is, wow, who is this? Mm -hmm. The next thing they want to connect, can I have your number? Can I have your contact? And the truth of it is about content is not even about knowing everything. It's just about knowing a the little key of everything. A little of everything. Yeah. Just to be able to contribute to a conversation. It, yeah. So mm -hmm. people need to pay more attention to the content because that is where training mm -hmm. comes in. You might be pretty on the outside, mm -hmm. but how are you building yourself in the inside? They say that uh, how you know uh, leaders is the amount, the quality of the books they read or the things that they expose themselves to totally. the exposure how are you viewing even if you can't travel for example mm. what are you checking on social media so people are checking other people looking successful and living successful lives 
spending so much time watching people who have built themselves. How are you building yourself? How are you searching for things that concern or helps you to continue to grow? Mm -hmm. What's your word bank like? Mm. How much English or how much words do you know how to add? You know, how each day, I have this dictionary that pops up every day. I say word of the day. And that's how mm. I add. So, hmm, nice. I find out the meaning mm. and then I try to use it in the course of the day. And somebody hears it, oh, this person sounds very, very intelligent. It's because you are adding value to yeah, your content and you're being deliberate about it. You're not focusing on your container alone. So, mm. we need mm. more and more people who can, because even though it tells on the the, the quality of citizens that you churn out. Mm. Yes. And that's why the education sector in Nigeria is very, very crucial. important. It's very crucial. Because if we do not get it right in the education sector, it's going to determine the quality of human beings you know, we're going I to be churning out in relevant. today's world. Yeah. Mm. And how relevant they are mm -hmm. going to be. Because mm. some of them feel like a big fish in small pond until okay. you throw them into the ocean. Yeah. And they find out that they, they are such swim. tiny fish in in big pond mm. so it we must be able to get it right in that area you know well, i was going to say that in today's world your competition is not within your it cannot even be in the country oh no mm. so that's why it's important mm. that you know at every opportunity you're given let it not be that you did not come a hundred percent right because yeah. today's world who I'm going to be competing with might be somewhere in Tokyo in, or in Japan or in yeah. somewhere in Singapore or, or in the US. What do they know? What are they, what are they exposed to? to? What are how they, have I know? exposed to myself? How, how have I exposed so myself I am to on, what they I'm, know? I'm online. What am I using my internet time for? Am I using it to be, you know, um, am, am I searching upgrading for content my mind? that continues to upgrade yes, me or as I am person? bringing myself, you know, just being all about the place. So yeah. people don't understand that it is important until you begin to lose a lot of transactions and you're now wondering what's happening. Okay. If, I'm you, yeah. if I may step in, I, I was going to, um, you talked about the fact that, you know, what do you do with your, your time online and some people do not come in with 100% because they do not know what you're supposed to do as well. And that's the, that I want to know where the, um, where confidence plays, what was the role of confidence in this aspect? basically because some people might not even know what they're supposed to do they don't even know that oh i'm supposed to upgrade myself in this area i'm supposed to do this and this might be tending towards the fact that they lack confidence in mm -hmm. themselves mm -hmm. so what's the role of confidence developing your confidence to actually achieve that um, um goal of behaving and appearing and communicating right Thank you, Isi. You know, confidence, I've seen people who are illiterate be very confident. Now, let me tell this joke. There's a man, of, of course, from our climbs, the Igbo people, and he went to buy a car. Yes. And then he says, oh, I want to buy this Patafinder. You know, and then the sales representative said, oh, sorry, sir. It's, it's Pathfinder. Pat you know the name. He said, I... really? <laughs> Say, you know the name? I drive the car. I drive the car. You know the name. Right? So yeah. there are people who are, who are not that enlightened, but they are confident mm. in yeah. that. Because confidence has a lot to do with how you feel Inside. about yourself. Mm. Okay. Some people are educated but they lack confidence because mm. they do not feel good about who they are. Totally. So it's a struggle, right? So that for, so for the person who is confident mm -hmm. and ha doesn't have the finesse, it's just about getting somebody like me, Polish coach. To you know, I was going to say that, you know, <laughs> I, uh, my sister begged me <laughs> that I needed to watch some series on Netflix. Mm. The one that they say crazy rich Africans, or what's that one? The one that Annie okay. Dibia was. Okay, in. yes, I saw rich that. And yeah. uh, rich, rich and famous or something. Rich and famous, famous yeah. yeah. Honestly speaking, watching that series mm. and watching Annie Dibia, I felt really sorry for her. Mm. I felt sorry that, you know, you have so much, but because you've not grown into that level of confidence, there was so much, there, was, there were so many things that pointed how how small she saw herself first of all how f inferior she felt and how insecure she was mm. it, it it was so glaring throughout that thing i like i literally was wondering like can somebody be like that where you think everything about your life is dependent and where i'm going with the conversation is sometimes the fact that you have crossed 
to the point where you have money mm. and you have you can afford a lot of things does not does mean, not mean that you know you how to suddenly... appear you know how to behave and you know how to communicate totally. people mistake that mm. totally. and that's why they are focused on the con container mm -hmm. you are looking the part but omo you can't sit down in a conversation and when you said no a bit of everything mm -hmm. like there is no conversation you will throw me inside mm. now today or as Talk of today about football, mm. sports, that i cannot i cannot contribute can't... because again it took years mm. to of grow. grooming myself to right play. people don't pay attention to these things so when i watched that thing i felt miserable on her behalf mm. i felt so sorry for her that mm. really even the two face that we say oh he didn't go to school and all those things he was he was a confident. lot more confident. confident he was a lot more presented he was he appeared better he communicated better he behaved a lot better so i'm saying that this thing is deeper because you know why you can be in a room and you have the capacity to control a billion dollars mm -hmm. totally but this thing here can make you walk away with nothing mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because you did not you did not present Develop yourself your at a hundred percent so people just pay they don't they don't they don't look at this thing and they look at it and they say mm -hmm. it's nothing it's a big deal it goes a big way well, it goes i totally a long agree way. with you that it's mm -hmm. a deeper thing because the truth of it is that a lot of us do not know that we have unconsciously been programmed to believe that we are nothing and that we cannot amount to anything mm. Mm. and it would take somebody who like tells themselves the truth mm. finds out that there is something that i'm dealing with and i need help in this area mm. unfortunately a lot of people come face to face with that truth but they are unwilling to, to confront it mm -hmm. or to work on it mm. so they continue to struggle unknowingly to them everybody can literally see beyond them that they have a struggle that they are insecure or that yeah. they have problems with themselves mm -hmm. so for confidence for somebody who is lacking confidence there are certain things you might want to deal with mm -hmm. you might need a therapist to take you through the process of going through maybe your background what brought you to be the person that you are today i at some point in my life had to go through therapy mm -hmm. because i found out that until it's not that i was um not Okay, I, I, be, I was invisible in some ways because I came to one understanding which I went through, you know, came to that understanding that I did not uh, matter or that I, I, I didn't have a voice. Hmm. So I spent all of my time working to help other people to find their voice mm. so you were opening the door but you did not walk through that door mm. so when i came i went through therapy i realized that i have been standing at that door mm. and not giving myself the permission the mm. because mm. of what people were going to we'll say, say that i'm too powerful for them to understand totally. and i keep to realize that see your power is enough Mm. As big as the, the, the sky is, mm -hmm. all of the stars, there's no star that has fallen down to say, oh, there was no space for me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so they are all shining in their yeah. different capacities. Mm -hmm. So we all have room to shine. Totally. Don't be afraid of, your, of, of, of the light that mm. you carry. So when I came to that consciousness, I did not care. I knew that for me, that it, it I had to shine because I needed to give a lot of people permission More to do the same. Well. Yeah. Okay, so let's take some comments, yo. Okay, <laughs> and my comment goes thus. May I? Go All right, yes, and my comment goes thus. Says greetings, ladies. Greetings, ladies. My special greetings to our able guest Norma. Um, honestly, I can totally relate to what you are saying. At Uwa, not minding my uh, my appearance thank you so much for today's topic you ladies really made my night this is from gift of four from luanda angola oh um, thank you Gift. <laughs> and there is one more comment uh, though there's no name here it says whenever i'm passing if i if i don't have money to give them I will say hello to them okay, to and the beggars. they will and they'll be happy with mm. me. All that's right. from someone who didn't leave. Our me. regular fan. Hey, Jesus, <laughs> Daniel, Daniel. Daniel. We don't beg you. Daniel. Hey, <laughs> keep the message short. But meanwhile, we're looking for what's hmm. that guy from Jalingo? Bobby Ooh, Kennedy. Bobby I hope Kennedy. you're okay. We've not heard from you in a while. <laughs> so good evening, my beautiful sisters of what are you yeah. saying? Hashtag ways concerning the relevance of appearance, behavior, and communication in today's world. Yeah. People need to go back to school to learn it. Sister Norma said it all. People who are snobbish 
have a shallow brain totally me personally i am daniel elo and will forever be i happen <laughs> i happen to be a very nice and friendly person but you need to see the uh, countenance of people when i want to make them my friends it is very discouraging and frustrating totally. they're not friendly at all it is as if the ground should open and swallow me <laughs> concerning um outright and total ban on okada there is no crime in the ban but when you look at the traffic system in Nigeria, that that has not improved and getting worse by the day, we need to meet up going somewhere. So anyhow, we still need the Okada to maneuver the traffic. Thank you so much, Daniel. Um, so one more comment from me, then I'll come to you. Okay, that person that sent his name is Talib Jaliba. The one that says he says hi to beggars. Okay. Let me see um, from Austin. Okay, so appearance is important from Delta State, Austin, Delta State. It's like the picture we were painted about crazy dressing she saw in the church. Let us be careful. <laughs> that some pastors allow near nakedness in church does not mean it's fine. Dress up to fit the occasion you are attending. Absolutely. What you wear to church, picnic, party, or interview can't be the same. Mm -hmm. Why should I not pay attention to the container? For communication, let us be careful when um, when to be formal or informal. Yeah. I feel uncomfortable when an opposite says uh, sex. Ask me, mm. how was your night? And when we're not close mm. while doing business, uh, while discussing business. So I think that how was your night is a question that a lot of people have come up with. Mm. I think I would you know what I do is I hope you had a good sleep. Mm. Right? Nama, correct mm. me if I'm wrong. Uh, I don't absolutely. I don't ask people how was your night. Mm. Hope you had a good sleep, you know, and uh, you know, you know, in that's all I say. In yeah, education, we usually say you don't ask someone, you don't even ask. Nuts. I think it's a Nigerian yeah. thing, yeah. Right? It's so basically, it's a culture it's shock a culture for some shock. people to exactly. come back and say, How's your night? So, what, what are you talking you about? You can rephrase it in such a way that <laughs> so, it wouldn't seem like you're asking, especially if the person has a spouse or something. Yeah. God bless your guest today. <laughs> uh, no, my people are loving you. Working with my wife, and you hit the nail mm. on the head on Tell many me. things I've been sharing with her. The importance of this is from Charles from Kaduna. Norma, you have a final well comment. Done. All right. Yes, <laughs> I do have this one from um, Benson, and it says, "Greetings, ladies." Yep. Summary of it is like watching the iceberg. Yeah. Container is what we all see above the water. Mm. The size of the ice beneath. How much is it? Good show. Thank so you. just to, to uh, comment, because some couple, and you know, that's why some people even mm. grow apart. Because mm. one person is growing, while the other person continues to, to stay like that. I was listening to the radio the other mm. day, and somebody said that she had been trying to tell her husband, you know, dress up this way. He feels mm. like he goes to biz for business, so he doesn't need to. They say it doesn't. Mm. And then one day she was traveling to the airport, or she was traveling, and he took her to the airport. Mm. Of course, he didn't listen to her. And then he met his old classmates, mm -hmm. old looking dresser. all dressed all that, dapper. that she pretended that she, he wasn't <laughs> even her husband. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so it's important yeah. in this growth process for people who are married or people in a relationship, find someone who you can, or if you're already connected, find a way to grow together. It's mm, very, yeah. very important. <laughs> and for Daniel, I think he said, trying to make friends and then somebody snobs you. Yeah. Another thing that I learned, and that's very important about confidence, yeah. it's okay for someone to say no to you, mm. but it is not, you, it, you're not the cause of their problem. Totally. Mm. Sometimes people are, you know, they cannot deal with your, your presence and your power. So they try to snob you off. Don't think that you are the problem. Mm. They are the ones that have the problem because most times perception is projection. How mm. people perceive themselves is how they're going to project it. On. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. You are giving projection. <laughs> Please, for those that do not. No, so my first, wait, 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 wait. Let me finish my point. Some of us paid money. Look at, look at me very well. Some of us we paid money for this thing. So you go and pay, go and pay money. It's okay. Don't talk too much again. I have resourceful people on my team, so well, we don't just brag, but we know where we, where we are going. But thank you so much, Noma. We had fun. I think we should do this more often. So what yeah. I want us to do, um, um, I'm still trying to wrap up my head around it. Um, mm. A lot has been pressing on my mind for us to turn our Wednesdays to something where we're able to give back a lot mm. of things. And yeah. I have been getting a lot of good reviews. So very soon we'll be making very good announcements for people. And mm. the give back cuts across 
everything. everything. Yeah. And everything. trust me, it is <laughs> massive. Mm. And we're looking forward to it. We're going to be starting that very soon. So look forward to watching us every Wednesday. So Norma will be give, coming back to give us more tips. <laughs> <laughs> we can just start a location class one day. <laughs> Some of the words. <laughs> Mispronounced words. words. I'm Tell telling you, you should, you should, we should do it. Blunder. Blunder. I do that Blunder. sometimes. No, 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 show. on the show. And okay. it's not about fune. <laughs> it's okay. They say we should wrap up. <laughs> it's about the sound. It's exactly. okay. <laughs> Before we go, do ensure you follow us on Instagram. So we show Africa. You can drop a comment and interact with us further. Make sure you follow all our engagements on social media. Like, share. Please, most importantly, invite other people to watch. You can't be loving us alone. Share the love. So if you missed today's <laughs> quote, here it is again. Um, refinement is that polishing down of the human being, casting out that which is coarse and vulgar, and retaining that which is fine and elegant. Oh, you see me like this? I'll see you guys tomorrow <laughs> at 8 p.m. as we bring another great conversation to your screen. <laughs> You're such a drama queen. I am. <laughs> <laughs>